Hey everyone, this is Tom Desmond of Apricot Law with a detailed analysis of your top local competitor. Being ranked in the top three for car accident lawyer in your city is a very good way to get a lot of car accident cases. So in this video, you'll watch me pick apart every little detail of that top ranking site in your city so you can see exactly how they got there. SEO, link metrics, and some conversion factors too. More importantly, you'll see how we would outrank them so you can get those calls and cases. Now, I know that's a bold statement, so at the end of the video, I added a proof segment, which will allow you to see some of our clients that are ranking for car accident lawyer in some major cities. Before we jump into this analysis, you need to understand the two main components of organic ranking, and those are relevance and authority. So this is very important. Please spend the next three minutes with me to review this so you can get the most out of the analysis. Here we go. Relevance. Relevance is everything that we do on your site. The term relevance in SEO describes the extent to which the content of a website's page matches the search term used. There's seven elements that Google uses to determine relevance, and we'll look at all of those in the video. Most phrases that you want to rank for will require a dedicated landing page, but that being said, a properly built landing page will rank for different permutations of that phrase and its synonyms. Authority. Authority ratings like PA, page authority, and DA, domain authority, refer to website strength, and that's rated from 1 to 100. 100 is the strongest. Strength comes from backlinks, and a backlink is a link on another website that points to your website. We think of backlinks like nutrition. It's your website's nutrition. So like diet, good backlinks make your website healthy and strong, and bad backlinks make your website sick and weak and in some cases penalized. To go a little deeper with links, I added this. This is link qualities. Links have to be diverse, meaning they have to come from many different kinds of websites. Web 2.0, directories, press release, article syndications, uh, guest posts, social media, and PBN, that's private blog networks, which are the strongest. Uh, those links have to be relevant. So relevance is important, and we estimate that about 85% of your links should come from law-related sites to increase that TF score, that's trust flow. Um, links have to be authoritative and focused. So just like what we're trying to do to your website, which is increase its authority, those links have to come from authoritative websites. That's what it ultimately increases your authority. And they have to be focused. So you don't want um, those pages linking to you to have tons of outbound links because that dilutes the nutrition coming from those authority websites. Anchor text ratio is very important. Anchor text is the text that the link is built on and to avoid over optimization penalties, which is the penguin penalty. Exact match anchors must be 4% or below, which means if you have 100 links pointing to your site, you want only four of them to be that exact match, uh, like uh, the link itself, Miami, Car Accident Lawyer, for example, should only be four out of those 100 links if you want to rank for that phrase. Uh, then velocity. Velocity is the, uh, the rate that other sites are linking to you. So um, you can't have five referring domains one week and then the next week 200 referring domains because that's just unnatural. So link velocity is very important. In summary, websites with sharp on-page elements and solid backlinking profiles rank in the top three for anything they want and get the most traffic and hands down no exceptions to that rule this is the good news 94 percent of the websites that we see in the legal industry can be easily knocked off the first page outranked for any phrase in four months or less so let's take a close look at your competition and i'll show you what i mean Okay, here we are. Here's the phrase, Birmingham, Alabama, car accident lawyer. You know what? I'll pull Alabama out of there just to make it even more competitive or more focused. And uh, it's the, basically the same set of results here. This is the site that I looked at, uh, WK Firm, and I see this one popping up too. So maybe I'll, we'll look at both of these. And I see the Drake Law Firm, also number one in maps. So th that's, that's going to be interesting. We'll, look at, we'll take a look at both of those. Um, because I had already looked at this one, and I, I can breeze through it, let's take a peek at it. 
Um, you know what? I'll do it this way because I have it open already. And then I'll go back and look at the Drake firm as well. So this is their car accident page, which ranks number three for that phrase, which is great. And uh, I'm going to go down the, the seven uh, components of on-page SEO, which is what makes your site relevant. So here's the URL. I hope you can see that. It's tiny. I know. Uh, their URL is, uh, you know, their domain name slash car accident. So it is relevant for car accident, but it doesn't have Birmingham in the URL. That would make it more relevant, obviously. Here's their page title, which is perfect. It's the exact phrase that I searched, so it can't be any more relevant. Birmingham car accident lawyer. And then they have the, the pipe right here. And then car accident attorney Alabama. So that was smart because they put car accident in there twice. They could have put auto crash here. Uh, so they're not just repeating car accident. Uh, and they changed lawyer to attorney, which is okay. And then they add, added Alabama. So that's, that's a pretty decent title. I would have done it a little differently, um, but that's okay. Meta descriptions, you don't really need uh, for SEO purposes, but if you're ranking in the top three and you're getting a lot of um, impressions, it's good to, to use that space. The meta description is this text right here. Just highlighted that. So when you put a meta description in your website, Google will pull it into this spot. Now that's not always best practices to do that because it's sometimes it's better to let Google choose what text to put there because someone might type in a synonym or some other random phrase uh, and it'll Google will pull it into this spot um, if you and, and it'll be bold like this this is bold so it draws your eye to it if you tell Google what to put in the meta description you could be losing that opportunity so that that's the give and take there uh, and here's their h1 Alabama car accident attorney so and we'll go back to the Southern number one ranking site and compare it. Maybe their H1 is Birmingham, which would make it um, more relevant than this site. So those are the top three components. There's the URL, which theirs is not completely optimized. Um, the page title, which theirs is perfect. And the H1, and theirs is a little broad because it's Alabama. And just so you can see what the actual H1 is, this is the H1 right here in there on the page and this is an interesting header i wouldn't advise this for conversion purposes it doesn't really it's kind of hard to read and it doesn't really tell you anything it doesn't say uh something like you've been in a car accident speak to an experienced car accident lawyer call now for a free consultation we'll come to your house like that's a really strong call to action this is just testimonials i, I don't think that's a good idea um, the, I should do another video for conversion because that's extremely important, but that's just a little conversion tip. Um, continuing on with on page, this is their sidebar. They have two sidebars. This one is probably their, their automatic sidebar, which is kind of pulling from a lot of their top navigation. It's all their practice areas. And then they have their car accident silo. A stronger way to build your car accident page would be to leave out all of this um, information because this is irrelevant. Uh, maybe burn injury is, maybe child injury kind of is, but dog bite, um, you know, elder abuse, insurance law, social security, workers' comp, defective products. None of these are really ultra relevant for car accidents the way these are down here. So accidents caused by drunk drivers, commercial vehicle, dealing with insurance companies, hazardous roadways. See what I mean? So with all of these outbound links, you're actually losing link juice and you're providing irrelevant information. So um, Google is going to always promote a website that has more relevant information. So they should build out this car accident silo and and you know, fill their website with car accident related phrases. If you really want car accidents as uh, car accident cases, that's the way to do that. And they have some outbound links on their pages. They're going, not outbound links, they're internal links. They're going to internal pages and they are relevant. You know, there's wrongful death and burn injuries and spinal cord injuries, but it would be even stronger 
in Google's eyes, if they were linking to like a traumatic brain injury as a result of a car accident. Google crawls all these little links and looks at that content. And if it's ultra um, focused on car accidents, it makes this page more relevant. So there's that in a nutshell. Um, now that we kind of got an idea, or that's a pretty good idea of how to set up a page on page uh, for relevance. The next thing that needs to happen is it has to increase in strength with backlinks. And that's like what I talked about a second ago with nutrition. And I, I gave examples of all the different kinds of links and et cetera, et cetera. And this is a tool, Moe's, that gives us that analysis. So it really takes a look at what nutrition these pages are getting. And I just clicked that link up there and I pulled the Moe's tool up and I put that page URL right in this search bar. So what we're looking at is the, the metrics of that page. Now, the, this tool is saying there isn't any discovered link data for this internal page, which is interesting. Uh, for a number of reasons, because it is in the top three, it does have some authority coming into that page somehow. There just aren't any websites linking directly to this page. So whoever is doing the, the, the marketing for this company is not linking to their car accident page, they're only linking to the home page, which is not advisable. It'd be pretty easy to, to knock this website out of the box if you were to build a, a website or a page on your website, a car accident page, and change some of the th things that I mentioned with the, the silo um, and the internal links. And Oh, there's one other thing. Before I go back to, to on page, I want to show you something else. Let's see. Uh, hazardous roadways. I'll click on any of these. None of these are part of the car accident silo. In other words, when you're building pages that are car accident relevant, you're, you're trying to increase the strength of your car accident page. You don't want to just put them right on the domain. You want to put them as a child page to the car accident page. So what you're doing, you can see what I'm doing up here. And I'll show you in a second. So when, when you create a, a, a child page to this car accident page, you're actually turning this car accident page into a folder in Google's eyes. So Google will see a car accident folder with all of this relevant information in it, all this relevant content. And that's the smarter, stronger way to build strength to a car accident page with just your on-site alone. And look what happens, like I click on this motorcycle page. It isn't on the, it isn't in a car accident folder, it's right flush against the domain. So. Let me go back and I'll show you what I mean. The way it should be set up. I just copy pasted that. So it's car accident slash motorcycle versus car accidents. And this becomes a page within this folder, which is a strong, the better way to build the strength. All right. So the, after saying that, all of that, I hope that, that made sense. Um, all of your car accident pages should be in your car accident folder. Back to link building. Now let's take a look at the the nutrition that this home page is getting. We just realized that that home the, the car accident page is not getting straight nutrition from any other outside sources. It's getting it all of its nutrition from the home page. So the home page is feeding it juice. So let's look at the home page. And I said that's not advisable. It's it's way more effective to link directly into that internal page because ultimately that's what's going to power up that page. So let's see, their best link, and I'll make this a little bigger for you, PA44. So you're only as good as the, as the food you eat. And so websites are only as strong as the pages that are linking to them. You get the, the nutrients from the page, not the domain. So the domain is a PA60, uh, DA64, which is great. And that page, the best link that they're getting is from a PA44. And the low spam score, it's only two, and it's going right to the home page. So let's take a closer look at that link or that page and see what it's about. So it's a PA44, which is nice. As I'm scrolling down, it looks like these ads here or these articles on this website are what's linking to their home page. 
and, and that's fine. It look, doesn't look like a spammy site. It doesn't look like there's a lot of outbound links. Um, it's coming from an, an interior page of this site. It looks like a, like a news station. Um, it isn't law related. It's excellence in education. Um, but maybe they donated or something like that. I'm, I'm not going to read these articles, but you get the idea. You have to look at each one of these links to see the actual validity of it. The next one is a PA44. I mean a PA40. So that's a nice amount of juice. Um, I'll click on it to see what it really is. And I know what this is. And so do you. This is a Yellow Pages ad. And here they are right here. Here's their link going right to their website. It says website here. Um, and as you scroll down, you will see that there's a lot of links on the page. So this is a pretty diluted um, page. So they're not really getting a lot of juice from this page, which is something I mentioned in the, the education segment. Um, if there's a lot of links leaving a page, you're, that, that nutrition is diluted. So even though that's a PA40, which is good, it's not really a bone crushing link. And then this is visually, this is great actually, because this is, um, visually is a, a web 2.0 that is used to, um, to promote and share and post infographics and visually is a very good link to have. So this is, um, I don't know what this is. It looks like a Christmas thing and I don't know where their link is or why maybe their link is down here. The, New Zealand accidents. Um, maybe the, the link fell off this page or maybe I'm just not seeing it, but they have a link, fire injuries. They have a link going to their homepage from, from this page. Maybe this is their, here it is. It's a publisher. So they, they have their own um, account, which it should go to it right now. It's okay. So, and it links right to their homepage. So that's their link. That's a great link. Not hard to get, but good job there. Um, the next one, and I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm just going to give you the top handful. And as you can see, as you, you scroll down, they get thinner and thinner. These are weaker and weaker. This is seven seek. I don't know what this is, but it's not opening. Here it is. So there's a ton of links on this page. So this is not a valuable link. It's a PA20, which is not bad. It, it would be decent if it was just a homepage of like a one page power site that had 500 words of content and two outbound links. Then you, you would be receiving all of that link juice. But this is a ridiculous amount of outbound links. It's like a kind of like a link farm. It's not, not helpful. And these I'm not even going to look at. This is a good link, PR web. Let's take a peek at that one. And it goes right. So that looks like a three one redirect. Um, go, okay. So, so they, they got, they put a press release up and then they changed the URL to, to direct right to their website, which is good. That's is a, that's a good link. And it's not easy to get that link. It's expensive and it's a pain in the neck, but it's valuable. Uh, I'll take a look at this last one. I don't know what this is, so I'm curious. Looks like this might be uh, here is some some ads. It doesn't railroad workers, and I, I read earlier that they do some railroad um, Kate fella railroad accidents. So this could be even a website that they built for themselves or um, their marketing person built it for them, but that's a good link because it's highly relevant. And even though it's a, the website's a little banged up, it's still a decent link. All right. So that kind of covers it. Uh, before I close off the video, I just want to mention, uh, you know, Birmingham is a nice place to, to rank and get leads, but, um, and, and also you want to be ranked in maps. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, but look what happens when I pull out. There's a lot of other uh, locations that would be very easy to rank for because these are, are kind of long tail. And that would be something that 
I would want to talk to you about because not all not all of these locations have law firms in them or can be commonly searched. Uh, being from Birmingham or anywhere in Alabama, you would know. Oh, you know, Dora is definitely the place where people would search because there's this uh, large complex and there's a lot of lawyers and they might just be looking for that group of lawyers in that complex or a Jasper or, or et cetera. But a good, um, a good strategy is to, to build an Alabama focused website and then zero in on a handful of these locations. So you'll be not only optimizing a page for, um, Alabama car accident or Birmingham car accident lawyer, but like 12 of these other locations. So you, you're really broadening your, um, your reach. And then I said, I was going to look at this website before I do that. Let me make this a little bigger for you. And we'll take a look at uh, these PA and DA numbers. And it's not an exact science because there's a lot of other factors that, um, come into play when you're, you know, it's not all only authority numbers. Obviously, you know, we looked at some, um, some, some on-page elements and then not all links are created equally and, uh, all different kinds of links affect these numbers in different ways. So there's a lot involved, but as we scroll down, you can see that the competition, um, it, there's not a lot of authority in this market. So there's a PA 16 in the number three spot. I mean, we have clients in some of the major cities and you have to crank up the PA to like over 40 just to get up into the top three. So this would be pretty easy. The number one site, which I'll take a look at in a second, is a PA 23, which is, you know, it's not that strong. Um, as I'm scrolling down is a PA one, PA one with very low domain authorities. This one's a PA 26, but in the number six spot, which tells me there is either something going on on site that isn't right, or maybe it's a, it, it could be a lot of different things. It could be that they just changed some URLs and Google is just bouncing them around a little bit and they're about to climb up. Here's a PA one in the number seven spot. And this page uh, is a PA 32, which is the highest PA on the page but it's in the number eight spot. And that's because look at the title it's not optimized for that phrase. It's pulling the homepage, which also tells me something again, that this is not such a competitive phrase. If Google has no other choice, but to promote out a page that doesn't even have car accident lawyer in the title. Good stuff here. Um, so let's take a look at this number one site. And they also have, they're also number one in maps, which is a nice thing to have. And there's a way to do that. It's too much for me to go into now, but okay. Quick scan. This is their home page. Um, no, it isn't. Sorry. It's their internal page and they, they did it the way I recommended almost. I wouldn't put practice areas like this right next to their uh, domain because it's more powerful to have your most competitive phrase right flush against the domain. So they have practice areas and they have accidents and they have car accidents. So this was, it's kind of, it's in the accidents folder, which is in the practice areas folder. This is kind of redundant because they're a personal injury firm. So you don't really have to, you don't really have to do that. Um, and I'm going to quick look at some of these things quickly. They do not, it doesn't look like they have a car accident specific silo. You see, as I'm rolling over these, um, sidebar things, I'm looking down here in the, in the practice and in, in, to see what the actual URLs are. And they're not, they're not, they haven't created a car accident silo. So that's like, I like to say is a kind of a crack in their shield. It's, um, it wouldn't be hard for someone to come along and build a really strong car accident silo and be ultra, um, relevant for a ton of car accident phrases, which Google would be very happy to promote because that's ultimately what Google's main objective is. Um, but I like this page. There's a lot of content. These, these things help the, Google loves these kinds of things. They have these tables and graphs, uh, and bullet points. And here's some relevant things, f fatal car accident or highway accidents. So they're, here's their H one tag, Birmingham car accident lawyer. Absolutely perfect. Um, they're, they're, um, 
page title, which you see right here, is perfect. Um, let's get out of this. There's a lot of content on this page, which is fantastic. Uh, they mentioned pre-death, funeral, lost wages. Um, drunk driving, head-on collision. It's, just, it's a great page because all of these H2 tags are just the way they're supposed to be. They're all, they all, they're all very focused on car accidents. And there's probably like 2,000 words on this page. So they did a great job. Um, let's see the call to action. That's a great thing to put in your header, you know, request free consultation. Great job. Let's take a look at their link building because they are number one. And they do have some links going to that internal page. They have one of their NOLO uh, profile pages linking in. I won't click on that. You know what that is, though. Uh, their Engage, I don't know why that's there. And they have uh, HG, another uh, law firm directory paid uh linking in. So nice job. P page authority of 23 and great on-site SEO. That's how they did it. How do we beat these firms? Well, um, it's very easy to, to beat them on-site wise. You just, you publish more content in tighter silos to be more relevant. It's not that, you know, it's not rocket science. It's pretty simple. And then, um, out beat, you know, outrank them with, with authority, uh, which is not hard looking at the, the backlinking profiles that we have here in front of us. These are not ultra relevant links. They're not ultra authoritative. And what we have at Apricot Law is much stronger than this. So it's just like a, just out muscle them basically. Okay, so I um, hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna now switch over to the, the proof segments and I uh, hope you enjoy that and talk to you soon. So here's the proof segment, and the point of the proof segment is to show you that the strategies that you just learned do actually work in this competitive market. So I'm just gonna run through all these quickly. We'll see the term like this up here, and, uh, and then I'll click on our clients in the SERPs and uh, flip down to the bottom and so you can see our logo in the subfooter. I chose a handful of these. There's only about 15 or so up here. We do have plenty more. Um, but these are significant and I'll explain the significance, um, and why I chose them when I go through them. And also keep in mind, we have an amazing offer. So fill out the form on this page to take advantage of our free website audit video. Uh, you get a, a video in about 24 hours. It's a custom video analysis of your website shot by me and sent to you for you to watch at your leisure. There's no strings. There's no obligation. It's just free. And it's really there's no better way to really see what's going on with your internet marketing. So take advantage of that. All right, let's jump in. So first, here's our, I just wanted to show you a sample ranking report um, from one of our clients. This is our New York City client. We um, built this website from scratch and he's ranked, these are all number one rankings here. Let's see, he's got um, like 42, 41 number one rankings. These are all page one rankings. Uh, all car accident related, all over New York City, Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Staten Island, Queens. And there's 239 page one rankings. So this is a monster site. Here, Austin, personal injury lawyer. I chose that because a lot of people want to rank for that in addition to their car accident page. So here's Paul Colley, he's our client. We built this site from scratch. There's a logo at the bottom. Brooklyn car accident lawyer, super competitive. Here's our client right here in the number one spot. It's three million people in Brooklyn, so that is a very powerful phrase to be number one for. Here's Brooklyn truck accident lawyer. I added that because here's an example of him taking up two spots. That's number two and number three. Uh, his truck accident page and his car accident page are both taking up those spots for Brooklyn truck accident lawyer. Miami car accident lawyer. This is one of the, the most competitive phrases in the industry. Here's our client here, Boris Levent. Here's a website we built for him, brand new from scratch. And now this is significant because he's a very young guy. He's a solo practitioner. Here's his pop-up. It's a cool site. And he's outranking all of those huge firms in Miami who are spending an enormous amount of money um, trying to rank for that phrase. And we got him up there 
very quickly. Here's our logo at the bottom. Salt Lake City uh, car accident attorney, Craig Swap. Here, here's he. Here his website is at the number three spot. Um, here's our logo. Now that I also chose Boise. Now this is significant because it's the same firm, Craig Swap. And I, I know you've probably heard that, oh, you can't rank from multiple locations. Uh, that's totally untrue. In fact, these are different states, and we rank the same website in Salt Lake City, Boise, and Spokane, Washington. Here he is again, number two, car accident lawyer. Okay. Now, um, here's Orange County. We even left out the word county, and we still ranked him in the number two spot. This is DKB. They're a brand new firm um, in California, and we were their, their first SEO company. We built the site from scratch. Here's our link. They're great people. Yeah, I'll show you their homepage quickly. Nice looking site, good photos, you know, great content, icons. Here's uh, an example of how to rank for a long tail phrase. So Orange County drunk driving accident lawyer. Anytime you put drunk driving in any kind of phrase, it becomes extremely competitive, as you can imagine. And we ranked him for number two and three. So his car accident page ranks because it's relevant for car accident, even though the word car is not in the phrase. And we ranked his DUI accident. So he's taken up two spots. Very interesting. And here's a just San Francisco uh, car accident lawyer. Here's Jesse Crisp. His internal page ranks for that phrase, I think, in the top four. And here's a Lake County car accident lawyer is an example of ranking for um, a longer tail phrase. And for that, we pushed his homepage up into the number one spot. So there's Jesse. So there's just a little bit of proof. Uh, feel free to reach out. If you have a question, call me or, or send an email. Definitely take advantage of that free website audit video. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you. Okay, all the best. Take care.